Joe. Kind of the experience, Jen Casey will be stopping by Governor's Council, running for re-election. We'll talk about some of the things that the Governor's Council does and why it is that she wants to continue in that role. But right now, hockey, you may have heard, pro hockey coming back to Worcester. We're so glad that Toby O'Brien is stopping by. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thanks for having me, Hank. All right, so what made you decide, and, and Worcester is clearly a hockey town. I mean, I don't think there, there's any doubt a, a about that. From the, uh, from the Ice Cats to the Sharks, there has been a thirst for, for pro hockey here in, in Worcester. But what made you decide, because I know this is a heck of an investment, to bring it back to Worcester? Well, you know what? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the easy part. I'm spending somebody else's money, uh, and I think uh, Cliff Rucker needs to be thanked uh, uh, for having the vision and the, uh, the uh, enthusiasm to bring it back here. And, it's great because he's a he's a Massachusetts businessman. Mm -hmm. He's he's invested into the the city of uh, Worcester already, and and is getting more and more entrenched here. So, it's not something that is a, a passing thing. It's something that uh, that he had had a vision, and uh, the folks at the city uh, got to give uh, uh, kudos to guys like Tim Murray and and Sandy Dunn at the DCU Center. They they knew what it was about, and they knew how important it was, and especially with everything that is popping here in Worcester right now, yeah. like the wave is moving, and the momentum is growing, and, and we hope that we can be a big part of it and, and hit it right. Um, it's a great hockey market, right in the middle of the Commonwealth, right in the middle of Massachusetts, right in the middle of college hockey. Um, it, it's a recipe for success if we do it right. Now, you just talked about the vision, and I love the part where you were talking about this is a piece then, to, so hockey unto itself and bringing pro hockey back and being at the DCU Center and that bring people in. But you clearly, it seems, when you're talking about this vision, see it as being part of a, a, of a bigger whole here in Worcester with all, you know, some synchronicity with all the other things that are going on. Well, and, and anytime a city gets to a, a point, they get to a critical mass. And uh, whatever that is that, that brings us to that critical mass, whether it be the downtown housing units that are uh, up, I think somebody said there's 800 to 1,000 new market rate yeah. housing units. Um, we're getting involved in uh, an arena project down in the Canal District, out kind of behind uh, uh, the old St. John's uh, uh, School there, Water Street area. Uh, the hotels that are popping in uh, downtown, some of the loft projects. It's all happening right now. Yeah. Um, the baseball team's done a great job, the Bravehats, to, to, to bridge that June to August. I'm still looking forward to it because I like to drink beer, and <laughs> everybody <laughs> says it's the best place in Worcester to drink beer in the summertime. Well, and that's part of it too, right? And it, and it is, by the <coughs> way. Uh, and then you got some fireworks on, uh, on Friday night. But that's part of it too that you just mentioned with the Bravehearts. So it's a total experience. Listen, you come out and, and, and you see, and, and you see the, the, the college future. So, I mean, so, it, so, so you're seeing some young people. But uh, I think there was a stat that they did once where when, when Peterman was on the, uh, on the show, he talked about the fact that they once did uh, this survey as people were leaving. And they said, okay, what was the score of the game? Like maybe 50%, sure. maybe 40%. But they, they knew they had a good time. They knew it was a great experience. They knew the pie-eating contest had happened, and they just loved being at the ballpark. And I believe that they've led the league in attendance the last couple of years. Yeah, I think they're... Uh I think they're cumulative. I, I think they're 15,000 greater than the next mm. closest competitor. And what they've done is they've captured a great experience. And again, it's college baseball, and, and yep. obviously we're affiliated double, uh, double A pro hockey. Right. But the experience is the same. You're doing things that are good for everybody around. The one thing I always say, and I, I, I ran a team for 10 years, and then I went to the National Hockey League mm. for 10 years. When I was running the team in a smaller city, similar to Worcester, uh, it was a steel town, whereas this was a, a textile town in the day. Yeah. And um, there's nothing bad about minor pro sports for a city. There's nothing. If I ran a bank, I'd be competing against the other bank. If I ran a pizza shop, I'd be competing against the other pizza shop. If I ran, you know, a, a, an auto detailer, I'd be competing against another auto detailer. We don't have any competition. It's something that's good for the city, yeah. 40 nights a year for the businesses downtown, for the quality of life, for home values, for, for the 100, 150 people that work on game nights just at the DCU Center, for the 20 people that we're going to employ that are going to spend money in the community, for the parking garages, the pubs, the restaurants, the hotels, the gas stations where people need, yeah. and for the little kids who come and look up to the mascot and have a great time, there is nothing bad about minor league hockey or sports in general for a community. And I think the Bravehearts captured that and that's what we're going to try and do. Tell me a little bit more about the league itself. You just used the term double A. 
I mean, is that sort of what it's a, a, akin to, to, to use the baseball analogy? Again? To use a baseball analogy, yeah. it's double A. So you have the National Hockey League, the American Hockey League, the ECHL. We will have an NHL affiliation. Um, unlike the Sharks that were here before us, they, they were owned and operated by an NHL team. The entire roster was put here by the NHL team, mm -hmm. supplied by the NHL team, to develop two or three players each year for the NHL team. We're not like that. Yeah. We're independently owned, independently managed, independently coached. We will have an NHL affiliation also, but that will give us seven or eight NHL contracted players, young guys trying to get to the American League, then yep. to the National Hockey League, usually a goalie or two. They develop later. The rest of those kids are ours. We need to scout. We need to recruit. We need to put the pieces together wow. ourselves. And the reason that it's different is we want to win. Yep. End of story. Cliff Rucker told me when I met with him, I want to win and I want to give money back to the people of Worcester. I want to write checks to charities, to youth programs, to, 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 to causes that are good in the city. That's, what he, uh, that's all yeah. he wants to do. Yeah, yeah. I want to do that too, but I want to win. <laughs> so if, if we can bring identity to this team and identity for the city of Worcester as a city that wins, baseball team has done it. They've won, they've won twice. Holy Cross made it to the NCAA tournament this year in basketball. That's awesome. Yeah. That's what we want to do. We want to win. And, and all feeding off of each other. And to win, when you, it's not only winning on the ice, too, but clearly then it is winning in the, in the community. You, you really are starting from scratch, though. You're not just putting together the team out on the ice. You're putting together your team behind the scenes. Completely. Uh, we have a, a big event coming up this weekend, uh, Fan Fest, on uh, April 3rd at the DCU Center, free for everyone. Live bands, uh, the Hockey Hall of Fame's coming, free skating, all the mascots, Wally from the Sox, Pat the Patriot, uh, Jake from the Brave Hearts, uh, all kinds of interactive games. Hopefully it becomes a, a tradition here. Um, we're building out our offices. Um, we bought a building behind uh, the uh, DCU Center that we're going to convert to a sports bar, a hockey bar, restaurant nice. that's going to bear our yep. name to continue the brand. Um, we are playing as an HC, and that stands for Hockey Club, in that we're not selling tickets, we're selling memberships. It's an all-inclusive social event uh, experience around a hockey team. Okay, well, explain that to me. All right, that seems a little a little different. So you're so you're a hockey club. Yeah. So I come, I want to go to the game, but I'm getting this 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 total experience. You're getting to total experience. You get to come to the restaurant, the the hockey bar, and have two for one pizzas any day you want yeah. to. Uh, two for one wings any day you want to. We're trying to include be inclusive. Our games will be on the TVs when we're on the road. We talk with uh, the guys at the ball team we referenced yeah. earlier. We're going to do the same thing for them if their games are televised when they're away. Right. Come. Come over, watch the games on television. Yeah. Try and make it very Worcester-centric. Uh, um, what a great idea. Yeah, we, we, we're just trying to build that. We're going to be 12 months a year activities starting in April. Um, we'll have we, uh, monthly meetings. We'll have other monthly events. We're, having a, we're going to introduce our mascot at the ball game on July 30th. Wow, All our fantastic. ticket holders, our members, yep. are going to get to come to the ball game for free. We're picking up the tab of the tickets. So we're just trying to do more and more things to make it a, a fun family um, wow. Entertainment yeah, experience. Yeah, no, that, that's fantastic. Now, uh, season ticket holders, I mean, <coughs> I know that the Ice Cats did very well. I know that the Sharks did very well. So is, is there already a fan base that you're able to, to yeah. tap into? Even though, even though you're doing a few things different, and it does sound more Worcester-centric, uh, yeah. maybe more a little bit more akin to the Ice Cats, I guess you're, you're making yeah, it sound yeah, than the Sharks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and we're trying to take the best of both of those, yeah. right? And, and then try and uh, get a little bit of hometown attachment like the ball team. And, yeah. and we, we just hope we do a good job. Um, the we, we, we've capitalized on a little bit of both. We're up over 400 right now. Wow! Uh, for season ticket holders. Yeah, yeah, and we, we call yeah. them memberships. Memberships. But, yeah. Right. For for the wow, that sounds person. fantastic. It's been I don't. I mean, it, it's. I don't know. That that seems. I guess you just kind of surprised me with that number a little yeah. bit. That seems like a big number in, in for. In six weeks. I mean, and, and you're wow. I mean, we're, we're you're going to tell us the name of the team now, but I mean, I, we didn't even have that before. No, no. no? We uh, <laughs> and we don't play until 2017. 2017. So amazing. we've got 17 months. We've had, got two people work in the office. See, these have been people who just have interest that have come to us. Yeah. And I'll I'll tell you this, Hank. It's been some, Shocks fans. It's yeah. been some Ice Cats fans. Some fans that haven't been season ticket holders for 10 years that yes, are coming right. back because I think they see it can be Worcester's team. And and the thing we have going great for us is that the people that were here for the Sharks, the local people, yeah. Suzanne, Mike Myers, Mike Mudd, they, do, they, they did a great job. So the taste in the, in, yeah. in, in the mouth, yeah. people like what they did. And we need to 
kind of come in and, and build Worcester's team and build upon that. Yeah, no, they did. Uh, you, you're talking about uh, so much with the community and names like Mike Myers are so well known yep. in the community from their, their times. And I know he's already uh, yeah. affiliated with the with, with the organization. I uh, you also mentioned, you know, like Tim Murray and some others. So clearly, I mean, this is a big part of the of the partnership. I uh, can't do it alone. What you're talking about, I I really love this idea that you already seem to be in with, with with all of these other organizations and all of these other businesses, sponsorships as, as well, I'm thinking. Yeah, the business community has been phenomenal. Um, and I give Tim Murray a lot of credit, but the Lieutenant Governor, Karen Polito, uh, you know, she's going to be there this uh, this Sunday. Uh, yeah. Mayor Perry, like, I, I can't even tell you how, how well we, we received, but, but give Tim Murray a little credit. He's knocking on doors. He's introducing us to people. Mm -hmm. This Sandy Dunn, they're telling people this is important. And... I met with one business leader uh, last week, and he said, who came on board, and he said, you know why the Hanover Theater is important? The Hanover Theater is important because we as a community, as a community of businesses, got behind it and said, it's important. Mm -hmm. And in turn, it's become a wonderful asset to the community, and everyone says, it's important. Yep. They're doing the same thing to us, and hopefully that continues, and then they'll be up to us to give everybody a good product. Wow, that's fantastic. Listen, just uh, just uh, under a minute left, one more time, what can people expect when they come on on Sunday? Uh, free, 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 free. <laughs> uh, live bands, free public skating, bring your skates. Um, the a whole interactive display from the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, U.S. Olympic team, local uh, college hockey, um, the Bruins, the ECHL, history of hockey in Worcester, some of the top trophies in uh, in. Um, in uh, pro hockey wow. uh, will be there. Um, all the mascots from the Red Sox, the Patriots, the, the Brave Hats, and just a good time, good family yeah. fun. And at two o'clock, we're gonna announce the name of the team and the logo. Love it, very exciting. Thanks so much for coming by. Thank you for and, having uh, me. And, and joining us here, I appreciate it. Hey, coming up, Jen Casey is gonna be joining us, so stick around, but make sure that you're there on Sunday at the DCU Center. Much more to come on the Hank Stoltz Experience.